Here's our Amana dryer. Amana. That's the timer. This thing no longer shuts off. The dial moves. See where it says 60, 40, 20. You set it to 60 and it'll move down to almost. It'll move to cool down, but it won't shut off. And if you use the other side, try to, you know, use the automatic settings, it won't shut off either. So, this, I'm assuming, needs to be replaced. I don't know, I'm going to guess. $120. That's my guess. It's really easy to get off. Here's the back panel. As you can see, it sits, well, right there. And there's one, two, three, four, five screws that hold on. These screws, quarter inch sheet metal screws. I have my little DeWalt screwdriver here, which does a great job taking them out. It lives right back there. Now, these it's held on by two compression clips. So you gotta take a pair of pliers like this, reach in there and squeeze the compression clips and they'll, you know, come out without too much trouble. Now, can't screw these up because they only fit one way. Two connectors on the, uh, where'd they go? Oh, right there, right there. You see the prongs. They connect there and that little one goes right there on top of the motor. Um, so there's three connectors. And then there's this jumper wire, which I don't know what that's for. Probably a ground, since it's going to the case. Must be the ground wire. So I'll disconnect that. Take this to Marcone, see how much they want for it. And put the dryer back together with a new timer in it. All right, I just looked this up online. <clears throat> First of all, here's the model number. If you have a similar dryer to this, it is, um, let me hold it steady, put it against something, W107-45655A. Um, I looked this up, and they want $148 for it on Amazon. Another one, $140 on Amazon. Um, looked at eBay, and they had some, of course, 90 85 etc. 58 I think was the lowest price one I found. But eBay, I don't trust them. They're like, man, they sell a lot of counterfeit junk on eBay. So I'm figuring $148 on Amazon is probably the legitimate price for this thing. We have an appliance warehouse um, distributor here in Louisville called Marcones. It's down on uh, Newburgh Road, so I'm going to get ready to go down there and uh, price one of these and probably just stick it in. I took this thing apart. Uh, to see if I could like clean contacts or something. There's two screws. You take those out. Just a word of advice. When you take those screws off and you pull this out, this whole front plate and assembly falls out. Now there's not that big a deal. This little cam, double cam gear inside there, and there's two little floating hinges. I guess I'll call them hinges on each side. There's a series of contacts that as the cam moves, the hinges kind of push it or separate it to turn, you know, the dryer on or off. I am going to assume that there's no no no, no user serviceable parts in there. After a little bit of difficulty, I got it put back together. But uh, it was quite a little puzzle to try and figure out. But I think I got it working the way it's supposed to now. So we'll find out. But anyway, I want to replace this. Be back. Okay, just got back from the appliance parts store warehouse. There's the old part. There's the new part. The new part cost me $160.86. Now, um, before tax, it was $151. I looked on Amazon and the part was $148. Except for the eBay specials, which, you know, come on, really... I just want this thing to work, so I spent the money. I'm going to install this. I'll be right back after I do. 
Okay, it took about a 30 seconds. You just push it in so the compression clip up here clicks. Compression clip down here goes click. I don't know if you can see it, but there's one. Then you unplug, or you plug these two things in. They only go in one way. Can't mess it up. Plug that back in. Put your ground wire back on there. And you put the dial on. And then you put the cover back on the back. And then you test it, make sure it works. I just kind of winged a part at it. If the timer wasn't the problem, then I guess I've got a new timer. Which is like, you know, grumble, grumble. $160 part for a $300 dryer. Anybody ever had that experience before? Well, yeah. That's kind of a drag, isn't it? Let's see if it works. Okay, this is the next step on the dryer. I got the new uh, uh, timer in and it, it seems to work. It doesn't shut the machine off so I'm not sure exactly why but the timer does work at least as well as the other one did. Well, started uh, testing it. Stopped heating. The dryer stopped heating. So I was like, well, what's wrong with it? Well, I took it apart today. I checked that thermal cutoff switch and it's continuity it shows continuity so it's good i check continuity on the heating element which is right here touch one of those leads with one a black uh probe and the other one to red set it to ohm scale and you should see a reading well i saw no reading it said one over the limit got to looking at it and here's my problem right here See it. The coil broke. So I've got a broken heating element. I just dropped 160 bucks on a timer. <laughs> now it's gonna be God only knows how much for this thing. Uh, yeah. I'm as happy about it as you probably imagine. Alright, let's take a real good picture of this so that when I hook this wiring back up, it's not jacked up too bad. Uh, it goes in like this, so the wire with the white stripe goes on the outside and the other wire goes on the inside. Since it's just a heating circuit, it probably doesn't matter. You could reverse them because it's just power going in and coming out, but that's the way it's configured now. So, <sighs> I've got a busy day today. i got to go have a colostomy. Not colostomy. <laughs> Colonoscopy. Well, I would have a busy day if I'd have a colostomy. <laughs> colonoscopy. Yeah, they're looking around up in there. I'm 62, so that's part of today's agenda. Well, after I get back from that, I guess I'll be going out to buy a new heating element. I'll take you along for that little ride when it comes. Well, since I, since I have to replace the heating element, which is right here found one of these on Amazon for 20 bucks so it gets here tomorrow we have a lot of dogs dogs produce a lot of dog hair you can see it at least something right there now I took this off from the blower motor housing there's the blower motor itself right there you can see on top of it there's some sort of debris uh, I can't see back in there yet. I'm going to get down there and look closer, but I'm going to vacuum all that out. I pulled this big chunk right here uh, off that housing. This wasn't fully obstructed, but you can see that there's some obstruction. I'm looking in there. I don't see anything in there, so let's hope it's not really too badly obstructed. Here's the <coughs> chimney, whatever you want to call it, for the blower motor. This is the bottom of it. This is the top. This is where your filter goes in. And here's where your filter, the top of the chimney, comes out. Two holes, or two screws holding on. Little small Phillips head screws. And there are how many? One, two, three, four. Four, four sheet metal screws down here. One, two. 
two, three, four. You just slide that back up in there and then wiggle it in there and push it. Put the screws all back in whenever you're ready to re re uh, replace everything. So I'm going to take my DeWalt little vacuum and an attachment I've got for it and clean this all up. The end of the story is that the dryer works. There's the timer. And this is hot. Uh, I was going to film me putting the new heating element in, but dogs and children were all around me, so I needed to concentrate on what I was doing rather than try and shoot a video of it while I was doing it. So, it's a dryer. It's got a heating element in it. You saw how I put the dryer timer in. You saw what the heating element looked like. Well, basically you just put it back in, plug it in, and put the back on, and it all works. Right now, it's working fine. If it stops working fine, I guess I'll return to this video for part two. Right now, I think it's all done. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped somebody.